Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog of the new year and I am so excited to film today's video because we have so many fun things to do today so I don't even know where to start. Peachy's here to say good morning to you. So we're actually going to go out today so I need to go ahead and get ready so I'm going to go get dressed first and I'm going to show you guys what outfit I'm going to wear and then we're going to just put on a little bit of makeup and of course I'm going to show you guys that because you know that's really fun and then we'll be on our way. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here's my outfit today. I'm wearing a shirt with my first ship on it, the USS Barkley, and then I'm wearing some black leggings, and then I'm wearing some of these Leopard Air Maxes. To be honest with you, I really wanted to wear my other Air Maxes, but they're stuck in my closet and I just can't get them. And that's the honest truth. So we're gonna be wearing these today. So there's the outfit. Now we're gonna go ahead and get ready. All right guys, so we're ready to start with the makeup stuff. And I just threw my hair up in this little duck clip and then um, thing, I'm not gonna keep it like this. It's just for the makeup process. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is this Mana Kadar hydrating spray. I like to use this before my makeup and then after my makeup to kind of set all the powders. And you know how every month at the end of the month I do my reviews on everything and I like to pick my most impressive product. This might win that award because I have just been enjoying the heck out of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a good spritz. We're just going in with some very simple makeup today. We're not going full glam or anything. I just wanna play with a few products and you know, since we're going out, I figured it was quite the time. Now I'm more than halfway through this priming serum from Makeup Revolution so I want to continue using this. This is also a very sparkly product so I do love using it. So I'm going to go ahead and pump uh, quite a bit into my hands and then apply this all over my face as my all over primer. So now I'm taking this Revlon Airbrush Effect makeup and I'm going to use this but I'm only going to use a very light amount of it. I'm not going to go full coverage with this although this foundation can really go there. I'm not going to take it all the way there today. Now this foundation has been giving me some problems like I wore it for my Tuesday picture yesterday and it matched me totally. I did take my picture outside but then when I filmed uh, some short form content with it, it looked so yellow on me so I still have to play around with this and see if it really matches me or not but I'm not really sure about this. So I just took one little pump in my hand and I'm just gonna apply just maybe a few dots all around my face. Like I said, we're just doing a little bit of coverage today. I really want to cover up this mess up there and I'm taking the Sigma Kabuki brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. This foundation also has glitter in it. Now that's not a problem for me. I actually love the glitter in it. It's very, very sparkly and it's very noticeable. So stay away from this if you don't like glitter specs for sure. I'm going to take some of this Veil Cosmetics Concealer and Brightener and I'm just going to put a little bit on my under eye area. Not too much. I'm not really going for full coverage. Although this concealer really can't give you full coverage, it's just meant for like correcting and brightening. And I'm taking that same foundation brush with a little bit of foundation left on it. And I'm just going to buff that in today. Now, I'm not going to fuss with any bronze or a highlight today because like I said, we're not doing full glam. But I do want some blush. So I'm going to take this one from Mana Kadar and just kind of fluff a little bit onto my cheeks. For brows, I'm going to use this Benefit Give Me Brow Brow Gel today, and this is in shade 2, and this is really, really warm. Now, I'm not opposed to a warm brow, but I don't like this particular shade, but this is all I have to work with this month, so we're just going to go ahead and use it. For eyes, I'm taking this from Kosas. This is called the 10 Second Eyeshadow in the shade Copper Halo. I know a lot of people complain about these, but this is the really old formula, so this one works so great. This is a pure liquid shadow and it comes with a little doe foot on it. So all I do is dip it in a few times. You really, really got to shake it before you use it. And I just apply it all over my lid. And what I really like about this one is you don't have to be so careful with it because you just kind of apply it on there. And then I grab a brush and just give the edges a good blend and it looks really, really pretty. You absolutely have plenty of time to work with this before it fully dries down. So there's like no fear and, you know, having it dry and streak on you. Now, of course, I don't like leaving the house without some mascara. So I'm taking my monthly one from Jasmine Beauty and I'm going to go ahead and just apply a light coat of this. I'm not going to build it up. It, this one can really build up to some incredible length, but I'm just going to do a light coat today. 
And I'm just gonna skip the lower lashes today because that's something I typically save for a full glam look. So I'm just gonna leave them there. Now for my lips, I kind of want to replicate what I did yesterday for my picture. So I'm gonna take this Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and then I'm gonna follow up with this ColourPop lip gloss. I think these two together look so beautiful. So with this crayon, I'm just gonna fill in the inner rim of my lips. So here's what the crayon looks like, and it's very close to my natural lip shade. That's why I like it so much, because it just enhances the color that I already have, but it makes it look more even. And then I'm going to take some of this So Juicy lip gloss, and I'm just going to pat it in the middle. And that's the entire lip look. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up this mess that I've got going on next to me, and then fix up my hair, and we'll be ready to go. All right, guys, so I did make a shopping list, so we weren't wandering aimlessly around town today, so I know exactly where I want to go and what I want to look at. So we're going to go ahead and follow this and see what we come up with. So let's go ahead and get on the road. Okay, guys, we made it to the first place safely, and it's about 40 minutes away. And I took the truck today because we had to go on the highway for a little bit, and I just like to take the truck on the highway because it makes me feel safer. My husband actually offered to drive me, which I thought was a nice thing to do, but I just didn't really want to shop with him today because it really stresses me out because he is not a shopper and I just felt like looking around a little bit today. So I'm just glad we made it here safely. There was barely any traffic on the 75 today. There were a lot of trucks on the right lane so I just hopped on over to the left lane as legal as that may be and I just cruised at 80 all the way here and we are safe. So I just parked and we're gonna head on into the store and follow my list and see what we can get. So here's our first place, it's Target, and I really want to come here to get some of that native gummy bear deodorant. There's like four or five different types, and I just want to smell them all. My husband wanted to buy it online, but I just wanted to see what it smelled like first. So here's all the native deodorants, but uh, I'm not seeing the candy ones, so maybe I'm gonna have to order it online. But maybe it's somewhere else in the store that they kind of have it on display, but I'm not seeing it. So I might have to ask somebody or something. I'm kind of confused. But I am going to take a few minutes and look at all this good clearance. They have some makeup on clearance over there too. So I'm going to look at all of this stuff. Okay guys, I found the display with all the candy deodorants. So I smelled them all and they are super, super good. Just what I was expecting. All right, now we're running into Ulta. I have a few things on my list, but of course I'm going to do some looking around because they've got some clearance in here. And I wonder what they've got going on here. All right, guys, so I just got back shopping at Ulta, and I did get some stuff. I couldn't really film in there because there were, like, five people working at the register, and they were all staring at me. I don't know why, but it was very, very uncomfortable in there. So, yeah, I just didn't film anything. But I did get some stuff, and I'm going to show you when I get home. So now we're off to our last place, and I'm kind of bittersweet about it because I am excited to go home. But I'm also excited to go to this next place. So let's go on and get there. So here we are. How can we not go out without going to TJ Maxx? I'm really excited to look for some ColourPop here. And I've been seeing that it's been floating around on some really good prices. So hopefully we find some. Okay, so this is the first stop. I actually need a card holder. So I'm gonna go through here and see if I could find a decent one or one that I like or something like that. That's a good price and pick one up. All right, guys, we've been here quite a while and we're still shopping. We are filling up the cart. We've got quite a few things to look at. So she wants to show you this. We've got quite a few things to look at. We did all the clearance already. We found some really great deals. So I think we're going to toys and clothes next. So hopefully we find something good. All right, guys, we've been back for a little while. So I've just been sitting down and watching some YouTube and kind of chill out because the way there was pretty easy, but the way home was really, really stressful. And I had major, major anxiety because there were so many semi-trucks there riding tandem and I just couldn't handle it. So thankfully I made a home safe and I just had to chill out for a little bit. But now we're here and we're ready to do this haul. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do an order. So we're going to start with Target first and then so on and so forth. So we just got one little bag from Target, but we got some great things. So the whole reason we went there was to get this. I showed you guys the whole display in store. And this is the one I really initially wanted is the gummy bear one. And it smells delightful. I've actually never been so excited for a deodorant in my life, but you make them smell like candy and then I'm really into it. 
but the thing with native deodorants is they are very very expensive i think this one was somewhere around 12 dollars so i wanted all of them but i could only get one so i was thinking when i use this one up hopefully this candy line is still available so i can go back and get another one i'm thinking the sour belts one is going to be my next one so the next thing i got is from a brand called lumi and the reason i grabbed this is because every time i watch youtube I get slammed with advertisements from this brand and I've always wanted to try something from them. But the thing is, their products are super expensive, but they have these little sample ones there for $3. So what this is, is it's an entire body deodorant that lasts for 72 hours. So they had two different scents to choose from, so I picked mine in Clean Tangerine and I didn't even smell this, so I wonder what it smells like. I got some on my hand right now, I'm just going to rub it on my hand. It definitely has a citrus bite to it, that's for sure. But I'm going to have to play around with this and see how I like it. If this works like I'm expecting it to, then I won't hesitate spending the full price on it. But I definitely am happy that they offered sample sizes so I could try before I buy. I just caught a ladybug. <laughs> and then like I showed you when we were in store, I found the entire clearance section. Now their clearance section was okay, I guess. They had a lot of body care stuff on there. And the prices were kind of all around the place. Some were still pretty expensive and others were really good. And the only thing I'm kind of regretting not buying is they had this little body butter tub there from Flamingo. And I've always wanted to try something from Flamingo. So that looked really good and was on clearance for $4. So anyway, if you looked all the way at the bottom of the shelf, that's where they had all the makeup clearance at. So I picked up two things from the makeup clearance section. So the first thing is this foundation from NYX and it's called the Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. And I got this in the color True Beige and it, this is usually $15 and it was on clearance for four. And on the bottle, this says it's supposed to last for up to 24 hours and give you a matte finish. So we're gonna put this to the test and see what it can do. I just haven't really tried very many products from NYX in general, just because they're typically a higher priced drugstore brand, but I, I've heard great things about this, so I'm very excited to get into it. And then again from NYX, they had one of their lingerie XXL lips. I don't know if this is going to be a kind of a lip lacquer or a liquid lipstick, but I guess we could swatch it and figure this out. But usually it's $10 and it was on sale for $2.99. So I just peeled off the sticker, so I'm going to open this up. It smells really, really good. And this feels like it's going to be a liquid lipstick and it's a very cool tone mauve shade. So I think this is going to be really pretty. Let's go ahead and apply some on now. It kind of has a gray tone to it, which is really, really cool. I don't know if this dries down or not, so if you know anything about this formula, let me know in the comments below because I have no idea. And then the last thing that I picked up from Target is this Celsius. I have always wanted to try one of these, and I don't know where else they sell these. I've only seen them at Target. So I picked mine up in the sparkling variety. They had sparkling and normal, so if you don't like bubbly stuff, you could just get the regular but I picked mine in the Fuji apple pear taste. So I don't know what this is supposed to do for you. I just think of it like an energy drink without sugar. So that's how it appealed to me. And as for the flavor, I didn't like it. I thought it tasted a little bit like throw up. So I would never buy this again, but I just finished it because, you know, it's not the cheapest thing out there. And I liked it. You did? Yeah. Maybe the other flavors are better, but I would never buy the Fuji Apple Pear one ever again. And that's all for the Target bag. The Celsius that I had in there spilled all over the bag, so I have to get rid of this bag. Now, the next place we traveled to was Ulta, and the reason I went here is because I had some birthday and Christmas money, and I wanted to go buy my birthday gift. So the main part of going out today was going to look for clearance finds, but some of the stuff I got at Ulta was not on clearance, so I'm going to go through those things first, and then the rest of the stuff we're going to do the clearance stuff. So the first thing that I got, unlike all the other stuff, is a fragrance, and this is called Eilish by Billie Eilish, and I've wanted this for so, so long. Now the reason I didn't get the full size is because I just don't like the bottle, how it looks, or the full size, so I just got the mini spray one, so this will last me quite a while because... I use fragrance like all sorts of them so I change them up all the time so I don't mind having the small version of this but if you've never smelled this before then you're missing out because this is fantastic. Now the next thing I picked up is from Makeup Revolution and this is called the IRL Filter Foundation and I got mine in shade F8.5. Now this is kind of a dramatic product because usually Makeup Revolution complexion products I wear the shade 7 and 
pretty much all of their lines. But when I tried a shade 7 on this wrist, it was very, very pink toned and it did not match me at all. So my daughter said, why don't you just try shade 8.5? So then I tried it on this wrist and it matched me perfectly. So I had to go up a shade and a half in this foundation, which is kind of crazy. Now, as for the foundation itself, I know very little about this. So we're going to really have to test this out. But I did apply it to my wrist, like I said. And it looks very, very full coverage, but it also looks very heavy and kind of powdery. So I'm not sure how I'm going to like this one. The thing is, I typically like Makeup Revolution complexion products. So I had a feeling I was going to like it, but I'm not really liking how it's looking on my wrist. But, you know, the wrist isn't the face, so we're going to have to see. Then I got the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And the reason I wanted to get this, this was on my list to get is because I wanted to do a mascara wear test on this. Now this just recently launched and I was very, very excited to pick this up. When I walked in to look for this, they were all sold out. The only reason I got my hands on this is because somebody hid it behind all the other mascaras and I just happened by luck to find it. The wand on here looks super cool and I love L'Oreal mascaras. Actually, I love a lot of L'Oreal's products. So I have high hopes for this and I'm very, very excited to use this. Then another mascara I grabbed is from Essence and this is called the Double Trouble Mascara. And what's really, really cool about this is the brush has two sides. You get a rubber bristle side and then you get a natural fiber side. So you can use either way to kind of style your lashes in your desired fashion. So I got mine in the color extra black. They didn't really have very many varieties there. They only had the pink cap and the blue cap, which would be the waterproof. So I've heard kind of meh things about this, but you know, I really like to try things myself and see what I think. I'm just really excited to use this and I typically like Essence Mascara, so very, very happy about this. And believe it or not, there are a lot of things from ColourPop that I have never tried. And one of those things is the ColourPop eyeliners. So you know how they normally just sell ColourPop at Ulta? Well, I guess this is their Bee and Fly collection, so I was attracted to the bee on there, of course. So I picked up this one in the shade called Get Paid, which is a really pretty golden olive tone. So let me go ahead and give you a swatch of this. Okay, so it appears that I ended up with a different one than the one that I intended to buy. So here's what this one looks like. It's a pretty orange pink copper tone. <laughs> I'm not mad about it though because I really do like this one and I'm interested to try the formula. The one that I really wanted was a pretty yellow olive green colored one and this is not that but I'm pretty sure it was called get paid if I'm not mistaken but this one's called get paid too which is kind of weird. I just hope this wears really well. I usually don't have very good luck because my eyes are pretty watery so I don't know about this. I'm just going to have to try it. And then the last thing that I picked up for full price is from Tree Hut. And this is their Coconut Lime Body Butter. And one of the girls that I watch on YouTube that I just love watching always talks about this Coconut Lime scent. Now, Coconut Lime is not something I would typically go to myself. Now, when I saw this there, this was the only body butter that they had there. So I was like, what a coincidence. So I just happened to smell it and she is right, this is divine. So I'm currently working through another body butter, but I'm gonna forego that one and start using this one tonight because I'm very, very excited. This one smells so, so good. The only thing I don't like about tubs like this is you either have to dig your hands into this or use a skincare spatula. I'm gonna go the spatula route because I don't like getting stuff stuck under the bottom of my nails. Body butters are typically pretty thick, so if you've never used one before, just expect a thicker texture than a typical lotion. Now, another thing that I've never tried from ColourPop is their Super Shock Shadows. And me and my friend were just talking about these. So when I saw this on clearance for $3, I knew I just had to try it. So this is in the shade called Coconut and it's a very dark sparkly blue, which is my favorite eyeshadow color. And this is the only one they had there. So I was like, this was just made for me. So I'm very happy. Let's go ahead and give this a swatch. If you guys love the Super Shock Shadow formula, let me know in the comments because like I said, I've never tried it before. So I'm very, very happy and excited to try it. So there's the color that I got. It is simply gorgeous and I'm going to put this all over my eyes. And just going ahead and swatching this, it is quite a unique, very squishy formula. But I don't know, I thought $3 was a really good deal for that. And then the last thing that I picked up that was on Mega Clearance is this Orly Nail Polish. And this is in the shade called Oh Snap. I love shades like this. They're really good for the toenails, but you can also do accent colors with this. And this was on sale for a dollar and five cents. If the camera's not 
correctly depicting this. It's a very bright highlighter yellow color. So this is just a normal nail polish. It's not a gel polish. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on one of my daughter's nails so you can see how. Put it on like a not long one like that, so it's easy. Okay, so there's the color painted on the nail. You're gonna have to build it up probably two coats because, you know, just the nature of the shade. But I love oily nail polishes and I couldn't believe it was only a dollar. So I think that's a pretty good deal. It's usually 10 bucks. So that's everything we picked up from Ulta. So be prepared for some awesome reviews coming up. And then the last place we went was TJ Maxx and we got three bags from TJ Maxx. So the first thing I'm gonna get started is this bag right here. And this bag holds one sole product and it would be the candle we selected. So this is gonna be the next candle in my candle review series that I'm doing. So I just finished up my first one. And this is from a brand called Red Leaf Home and it's called the Sea Salt and Citrus. And this costs $9.99. You can always get really good deals on candles at TJ Maxx. I really tend to like expensive candle brands, but if you can find one that kind of emulates an expensive candle for a really reduced price, then why not? So this is a blend of coconut and beeswax and it has three wicks in it. So it's gonna burn pretty nice and it is very highly scented and it smells lovely. Yeah, Cece actually picked this one out and found it. So if you've ever smelled the Sun Wash Citrus from Bath and Body Works, it smells kind of like that. So I guess you can compare it to the Capri Blue Candle and Volcano. But yeah, some of the smaller candles there were $9.99. So I figured a big three wick one like this in a nice glass jar for $9.99 was a pretty solid deal. All right, so our second bag that we're gonna do is Cece's bag. This is all her products. And then we're gonna do my bag last. So she actually got an outfit today and we usually don't buy any clothes anywhere but the thrift store, but you know, it was a special occasion today. So we went yeah. ahead and picked out an outfit. So the shirt we got is this really cute tie-dye sequin fluffy sweater. And she already tried these on and they fit perfectly. So very happy about that. So this sweater was $9.99. And then to go with that sweater, we got a pair of jean shorts and these are very stretchy. So these are gonna last a long time because you know, they'll grow with her. And they have the waist adjusters inside so you can kind of adjust them to the size that you need. These are just a little bit big on her right now, but we can always adjust these on the inside and make them fit a little bit better. And these shorts were on sale for $4.99, which I thought was pretty decent. And then next we got some kinetic sand and this is in the scent apple. So if you never knew that kinetic sand makes scented sand, then now you do. And this entire pack was on sale for $2. So she loves kinetic sand. So when we found that, it was a good buy. And then we got a couple snacks. So the first thing we found is from a brand called Dream Pops. And these are 100% plant-based mint chip crunches. So these were on sale for $3.50. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they look all right. Then we got something from a brand called Chocolate Works and these are called the Marshmallow Clouds. Now, if I ate sugar, I would be all into these. These are my kind of thing. I love marshmallows so much. And again, these were $3.50. They had so much food on clearance. So it was very, very hard to pick from. So we just picked like two things that were very interesting and how to walk away. So here's what the Dream Pop looks like bit in half. It's not really as green as it looks in the picture. That's super good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And then when we were shopping in the makeup section, Stacey found some makeup that she liked. So we got these Hershey lip balms and they have so many different flavors of Hershey's candy in lip balm. So this entire pack was $3.99 and she's very excited to open these. I think if I had to pick a favorite one, I would love this bubble yum one right here. I love bubble gum scented things. And then in the makeup section, we also found this Star Wars Baby Yoda <coughs> set. So you get a lip balm in here and then you get a lip balm holder. So you never lose your lip balm. And this set was $2.99. So that's a pretty good deal. And she loves Baby Yoda. Now the last toy and the thing that we're gonna split is a Squishmallow set. Now this was $4 on mega clearance and you get two that you see here and then you get two mystery ones. So we're gonna go ahead and open this and see what the mystery ones are and split them in half. Yeah, we used to get two. Okay, so the bottom ones are mine, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. Okay, the moment of truth to see what kind of mystery ones we got. So here's the four ones that we got. I got the top two and then she's gonna get the bottom two. 
So I'm gonna put these in with all my other Squishmallows because I just adore these things. And that's all for this bag. Now our last bag is a whole bag of beauty stuff and I am so excited to show you guys this. Actually, the first thing I guess wouldn't be considered beauty, but this was on my list of things to get. So I needed a card holder because I don't really like carrying purses or a wallet just so oh. much. And I needed something to put my ID and my debit card in. So I found this one. So you have your ID space in the front, it's clear so you don't really have to take it out. And then you got a coin holder at the top, it zips so your coins don't fall out. And then on the back you get all these card slots and it buttons so they don't fall out. Then we got the um, Squishmallow Triceratops. And then we got this little ye yellow leopard that matched my nails. So they didn't have very many card holders to select from, but the ones that weren't on sale were like 40 bucks. So this one I found on clearance for only $5. So I, I didn't really care what it looked like. I thought $5, that was it. I'm just gonna grab this one. And the other thing in this bag that's not beauty is from a brand that I cannot pronounce, but it is truffle salt. So again, we were in that food clearance section and this little pack of salt cost $3.50 and it's just normal salt in there, but it has little specks of truffle mushroom in there. So I figured this would be great for cooking because you could just pinch it and kind of season your stuff like that. I don't know. I have no idea about this. I'm just going to give it a try and see how it tastes. You know how I like to make that rice? I figure it might taste really good in that rice that I made. Okay. If you guys ever tried truffle salt, then let me know if it's good or not because, you know, I, I have no idea. Now, the next thing I picked up is from BH Cosmetics, and this is from their travel series, and it's a brush set. And this was on clearance for $4.50, and you cannot beat that price for an entire brush set that comes with a bag, too. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what the brushes look like. BH Cosmetics typically has really great quality brushes if you never tried them. So it looks like we have three face brushes and then we have four eyeshadow brushes and they're really small, which I like for my smaller eyes. So I'm gonna take this blending brush out and see how this feels. Yeah, guys, these just feel great. You cannot be $4. If you see this at your TJ Maxx for $4, it's worth it. Then the next thing I found was from Zoeva and this is their Lux Define Crease Brush, number 224, and this was on clearance for $3. So let me show you what this one looks like. Now Zoeva makes some pretty good brushes too. I have only one of them right now, but I absolutely adore it. So here's what this one looks like. It's a flat top blending brush and it's very flimsy and I love brushes like this. This looks like it's gonna be perfect to just whisk color onto the top of a blend. Then from Makeup or Evolution, we got something called the Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I got mine in the shade Light. They had three different shades there. This was on sale for $4.99, which is pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and swatch it. So I don't know if this was at TJ Maxx because they're discontinuing it, but I haven't heard anything about this. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on my wrist right here and blend it out to see what it's like. It's very, very light, but you know, it's a tinted moisturizer. So usually these shades are pretty flexible. It doesn't smell like anything. So blend it in, you can't even see it. So I don't know if this is just gonna be a nice all over evening out formula or what it's gonna do. So we're just gonna have to play with this and find out. Then for Maybelline, I picked up this Super Stay lip color and it's supposed to last for 24 hours and this was $2.99. Now the reason I picked this up was because I love Maybelline lip products. I think they make the best lip stuff at the drugstore hands down. So here's what this product looks like. It's a dual ended thing. So you're gonna put the color on first and then finish with this side to lock it in. So this side just has a doe foot applicator and I'm gonna swatch this color for you. So it's kind of like a liquid lipstick in this peachy pink shade right here. And it smells really good too. And then on the other side, you have this clear balmy gloss that you just swipe over the liquid lipstick and it just locks the color in and hopefully it lasts the 24 hours, but we're gonna have to go ahead and give that a try. And then, you know how I said I was going in there to find ColourPop? I did find some ColourPop, but it was one of their eyeliners. Now, had I known I was gonna go into TJ Maxx and find one of their eyeliners in there, I would never have bought one at Ulta. But this was on sale for $2.99 and it's in the shade Sub-Zero. So here's the color, it's like a yellow gold color. And there's what looks like swatch. Dang, that sure is bright. I'm very, very excited to get that into an eye look. 
So there we go from never having tried any ColourPop eyeliners to having two of them. Next, we got the Shake and Shot Dr. Jart mask. And these are the rubber masks that you shake in this little container and then put all over your face. Now these were usually $6.99 and I actually had the purple one in my cart for $6.99. Then when I went to the clearance section, they had select ones on sale for $5.50. So I don't know what the difference was. I looked in the inside and everything was in there. So I don't know why some of them were cheaper than others. But I just put the purple one back and kept this one. So this is the orange one and it's supposed to make your skin more luminous. So I don't remember what the purple one was supposed to do. But here's what it looks like on the inside. So you get two little packs and I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this. I'm going to have to read the directions and you get your spatula. We might go ahead and do this later because I'm very excited to try this out. It's supposed to rubberize onto your face and uh, maybe peel off or something. We're going to have to play around with this. And then next I found the Urban Decay Lash Freak. This is just a mini of it so I'm not going to be doing a review on this because I think mini mascaras and full size mascaras work differently. But they also had the full size of this there, but it was like 10 bucks, and I just wasn't going to spend that on it. This little one was $5.99, which is not the greatest deal, but I've just been dying to try this since it came out. So I just got this for me to play around with. So here's what the mascara looks like. It comes in this cool acid green tube. And if you've never seen this mascara before, it comes with the most funky wand in the entire world. And it looks pretty gooped up on there, so I have no idea what this is going to do to my lashes. But it says it's supposed to give it like 25% more volume. And I love a voluminous lash. So there we go with that. And then next we have yeah. something from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And this was one of the other brands that I was looking for. I also found her skin tint, which I know got bad reviews. But I still kind of want to try it for myself. But that was $10. And I know that's a good deal. But I just didn't want to spend that. And this blush was $7.99. Which is better than the original price, I guess. And this is in the shade L-O-M-L. So if you've never seen this before, here's what it looks like. It is in gorgeous packaging. And judging by the entire exterior packaging, this is going to be a peach mango shade. It's got one of those demon safety seals right here that I can never get open, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I got the safety seal off. I'm just going to put the lid on and do like I do with loose setting powder and turn it upside down. They also had Jaclyn Cosmetics loose setting powder there, which I wanted so bad, but it wasn't in my shade. And I only saw just a few there. Had it been in my shade, I would have picked that up though. Okay, so I did enough shaking and here's what it looks like. So you get a bunch. I'm guessing you're going to have to be very careful with application of this stuff. You're going to go way overboard. Wow, it's very, very finely milled. This is going to probably look very, very airbrush on the skin. Oh, wow, guys. So this is very pigmented, but it's soft. Like the edges are blurring themselves out and it has quite a glow to it too. So this is going to be so fun to play with. I only have one other powdered blush in my collection and it's from Flower Beauty. And I do love that one. It's kind of the color of that Dior blush that everybody talks about, that bright pop and pink shade. But here's this orange one, and I don't have very many orange blushes, and I just love them, so I'm very, very excited about this one. Had I had access to the entire selection of the shade range, I would have definitely picked this one anyway, so I'm glad this is the only one they had there. And then the final thing that I picked up, and I cannot believe that I even found this there, is the Glam Light Blue Icy Palette. This is called their Blue Raspberry Palette, and this was $9.99 which I don't care because I would have bought this either way because I wanted this since it came out. This is so exciting. You guys know I love a blue eyeshadow and this is a palette full of blues in the Glam Light formula. So here's the palette. Nothing revolutionary in terms of packaging, but I don't really care. What I do care about is this beautiful color story. If you've never tried the Glam Light formula before, you need to get on it because it is gorgeous. This is probably the next palette that I'm going to do a review and tutorial on because I really can't dig in. It's going to take a lot for me to not use this tomorrow, but I'm going to try to save this for Saturday. I'm not even going to swatch any, so my thoughts are not skewed until Saturday. So here's what it looks like, and it is beautiful. So that's all the stuff we picked up at TJ Maxx. Now, do I have any regrets? Yes. So, you know how everybody's finding the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection there? Well, I found the Pat McGrath Bridgerton lipsticks there. And the one that I found was one of the blue ones with the beautiful gold bows on it. But the thing was, they were $14.99 a piece, which 
I guess is a good deal in terms of the original price, but as far as one product being for $14.99, that was just too expensive for me today. So if I go back up there next month and I still find them, I'm definitely gonna pick one up, but I did not get it today, I just put it back. I also did see the Pat McGrath Bridgerton highlighters there. I saw the more champagne one and I saw the gold one and they were both on sale for $19.99, which is a pretty decent deal as well, but I did not get those either. And I also found a really phenomenal pair of leggings, but I looked at the price and they were $16.99 and I just couldn't do it. Okay guys, so I can't wait any longer. I wanna go ahead and use this mask. So I already read the directions and it seems easy enough. But the first thing I have to do is take an Ipsy wipe and go ahead and clear all the makeup off my face because I just don't think it's going to work right if I have makeup on, you know? So if you remember, I didn't put so much makeup on. And as I was sitting on the couch earlier watching YouTube, I kind of picked some of my eyebrow gel out and some of my mascara off. So I shouldn't have too much left, to be honest with you. Let me know if you guys do that too, if you pick your mascara off. I know it's a really bad habit to do, but I just can't help it. Okay, so I think I got most of my makeup off. So we're going to go into this mask and it says the first thing you got to do is remove the spatula from the top. And then I'm going to open these two packs and dump them in this little cup and mix them together. All right, so I got both the packets in there. The rubber packet was a little bit tough to squeeze in there. So now I'm just going to pop this lid back on, cover the mouth hole of this creepy little face on top and just go ahead and shake the crap out of this. So now it's very thick and paste-like, and I'm gonna take the included spatula, remember that we pulled from the top, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slap this on my entire face. I don't know how thick my coat should be, so I'm just going to do this thick of a layer first, and then add more if I have enough. So on the directions, it says that when this is solid and you know, you're done after 20 minutes of this mask, it's a peel off mask. And it's been a while since I've used a good old fashioned peel off mask. So hopefully this will help my face settle down a little bit because my face is breaking out super bad and I don't know what it's from right now. So I kind of coated my whole face and I got plenty left. So I'm gonna go ahead and double up and make this even thicker. Okay guys, so I still have a lot of mask left in here, but I think that's all that I could possibly fit on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit on here for 20 minutes and I'll be back when it's time to peel it off. All right guys, we're back and this mask is fully dry and fully rubberized on my face and it feels really, really tight right now. Now I'll tell you right off the bat, one thing I don't like about this is the way it makes my hands feel. It has sucked all the moisture out of my hands and kind of fried the fingertips of my hands so it feels super dry. So I had to put some of that body butter on because I couldn't stand the feeling of my hands. But this is by far one of the coolest masks that I've ever put on my face. I really like just how it feels on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this off and see how well it peels. That was a nice, satisfying strip. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all the remnants of this mask off my face, Here and then is. we'll take a look at my skin at Here the is. end. All right, so here's how my skin came out after I peeled the mask off. I still got some chunks of it in my hairline that are kind of hard to get out, but you know, I'm not really looking in the mirror right now, so it's hard to see. But for the most part, it came off really easily on my actual skin. And remember, I did get the luminous version of this mask, and I would say my skin looks pretty dang luminous. I would definitely be interested to try another version of this because this one certainly worked very well. Even though it does look very luminous, my skin doesn't feel greasy or overly oily at all. I would definitely use another one of these again, but the next time I go in with one, I think I'm going to apply it with gloves so it doesn't suck all that moisture out of my hands. And I think I would put a thinner layer on next time. And I guess the only thing that sucks about it is it's just one time use because I really want another one so I can use it tomorrow. You know how some masks you get where it's a pot and you can just keep going in with it over and over again? This one you only get to use one time. So yeah guys, let me know if you've ever tried these masks and which variety of it is your favorite. Okay guys, here's my dinner for tonight. I have three pieces of pineapple and jalapeno pizza. I have my little bowl supplements. I have my cashews and almonds, some walnuts, and a Fuji apple with some blueberries. 
And of course, we can't forget my water. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog right here so I could enjoy my dinner. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a giant thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just hit that thumbs down button. And until next time, bye.